of the soul before you and to welcome him into our spiritual family. It is written in Mark, they were bringing into Jesus little children that he should touch them, and the disciples rebuked them. But when Jesus saw it, he was moved with indignation and said unto them, Allow the little children to come unto me. Forbid them not, for such belongs the kingdom of God. Verily I say unto you, whatsoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, he shall in no wise, in no wise enter therein. And he took them in his arm, and he blessed them, laying hands upon them. And although Gaka was taller than a little child, <laughs> we are all little children. And that is the blessed way to be. We do not use water in the ceremony, for there is no need to cleanse what is already whole and perfect. We are whole and perfect as we are whole. Instead, we use, many times I use flower petals. For right now, rose petals are we're going, to, we're going to use natural oils to symbolize the innate natural beauty of the soul. The Christ Spirit is within Gako right now to be with him always. Know that every person comes to us on this earth on purpose with gifts to give and a special path to follow. In Scripture, God speaks through the prophet Jer Jeremiah saying, I know the plans I have for you. God has a perfect and magnificent plan for each of our lives, given the right nourishing and time for all of us who realize our mission and fulfill our own person as a carrier of the light. Let's pray. Dear loving God, today we call forth your blessings and consecrate this place or this event of baptism event is holy. We know that you surround us all as our thoughts and prayers go forth to bless Gako and both physically and spiritually recreate and purify his heart. Cleanse and renew his mind through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. May Gako always live in the awareness of the Christ present within a deep inner knowing that God is his help in every need. Thank you, dear God. Unto you we give all praise. And we say thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. Amen. Every time that we as a congregation, as a community, as a group of people do a baptism or a christening, we make a deeper, deeper, deeper commitment. This is what God was doing today. It's making commitment at a deeper level of the spirit. This person has attracted us, this spiritual family, his soul is connected with ours on a resonance level. We just talked about this in the talk, of course. That is what has drawn him today and drawn us to him. Garko's come to transform his consciousness. We're all here to transform our consciousness and raise that. And he's making a commitment in front of his community. It heals us to be in his energy field, doesn't it? It heals us to be in his energy field today. And we often forget that all of our souls are just, just beautiful just as beautiful as the other, so-called other. Garko, we remember the deeper purpose for which we were incarnated. And the Brother Garko before us, we wake up and we remember who we are. Our job is to care for the world and to make it safer and to live our lives to the fullest. To live our lives to the fullest, to deepen, deepen our own spiritual journey. I've known him for a while. He's deepening his spiritual journey every day, and I respect that an awful lot. So this is a mutual baptism, so we thank him very, very much. And he's here to remind us of our own innate beauty as we are here to recognize him. So it's at this time with great privilege to perform, my privilege to perform the ceremony of baptism for you, Garko. Please open your hearts to this magnificent soul. Garko, I baptize you in the name of the Father, Mother, and the God presence that created you in His image, in its image and likeness, and the living Spirit of Christ that you represent, and the whole Spirit of God that you are an expression of. I ask our community to please surround our community. <laughs> yet. I ask our community to please surround Garko with your own love and bless Garko, saying, "I behold the Christ in you." I, I behold, behold the Christ, Christ in you. you.
May God go always listen to his heart, to the words and feelings of others, and to the voice of God in prayer. For through these come understanding, deep understanding. Blessed be this child of eternity who has no alpha and no omega. May the path he walks always lead him to the highest pinnacles of life, love and wisdom. And may he guide others by the life he lives. And we say, Amen. 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 Amen.